Hannah is back! Yay! Hannah did. Hi everyone, I'm Sandrine and welcome to a new review for Dexter. This week's episode was called A Little Reflection. Let's talk about it. First, some quick thoughts. Ah, uh, Masuka being Masuka and telling his daughter that he looked into her because he wasn't sure if she was there for his money or just because she wanted to meet him. Just, no. That's something that if you do, you don't go and then tell them about it. Next, I don't think we knew this, but Dexter mentioned that Vogel was married to a Richard Vogel before. He didn't really mention whether or not he died or did divorce or what's up with him. Maybe I'm reading too much into this, but I was just wondering if maybe that was important and maybe we're gonna see him at some point this season or learn more about what happened to him. So we'll see. Elway, 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 Elway. I'm always very suspicious of Elway, but at least in this episode we kind of saw a little more of him and turns out he has a thing for Deb so that could be a way to bring him more into the story although I still think there's something else we're going to learn about him next I want to talk about Angel promoting Miller over Quinn yes finally he made the right decision and I love when Angel calls Queen street smart um is that another way of saying he's not very bright I mean come on and finally really interesting twist I don't know if we should call it a twist, but Harrison has found a stuffed animal that Dexter had thrown away because it had blood that could connect him to a murder that he did. Yikes! I thought that was interesting because I think this season we're already starting to see Harrison grow up and how Dexter has to deal with him now, but I think this is the first time that Harrison is smart enough to be like, well, daddy, you lied too, and let me prove it to you, here. And I think that's always been something on Dexter that was interesting. How is he going to deal with his son when he grows up? So it was nice to see a little of that beginning happening. Now let's talk about Zach Hamilton. Little Zach Hamilton, who could become Dexter's new apprentice. And of course, who better to teach him the code than Vogel. And speaking of Zach, did anybody notice that he was kind of dressed a little bit like Dexter when he was going to go after his dad? Or at least it looked like he was. And I was like, wait, is he dressed like Dexter? Also, I guess it was a little bit of a twist that he wasn't going to kill Sophia, but he wanted to kill his dad. Which I think is what makes him a really good candidate for Dexter, because the reason why he was going to kill his dad was because he wanted to save his mom or protect her. So when he has some feelings for his mom, or he does care about her, and he has been trying to hold off on his urges to kill, and I think that's why Dexter didn't kill him. Because I think he saw some of him in Zack, and he recognized some of the urges that Zack has, and that's why he said, huh, you never, you never had a Harry, you never had anybody that could kind of focus those urges into something. And he's fascinated with blood too, so he's like a Dexter Jr. Which leads to Dexter telling Deb that he's thinking of bringing an intern, we know that he means Zach. I mean, what better way to train him than to train him in the same field, in the police department? That's like brilliant! I will say this though, just because it worked for Dexter doesn't mean that it'll work for Zach. It all depends on him and how much he wants to embrace the code and how well he follows it. I'm looking forward to seeing them explore that a little more and seeing how Dexter would go about teaching Zach and having Vogel involved. It's like we'll be almost seeing what it took for Dexter to become Dexter except now it's Zach. But of course the highlight of the episode was that Hannah is back! Oh my god I was so freaking excited when I saw her and funny enough I've been waiting for her to return for a long time but when I saw Deb kind of going to sleep for some reason I thought it's Elway and his stupid drinks and Hannah didn't even enter my mind until I saw her and I was like oh my god it's Hannah! I'm excited she's back! I have been wanting her to be back in the show for like the first five episodes so finally she's back I really loved her last season I loved her interaction with Dexter and I cannot wait to see what that's gonna be like. I think she's just perfect for Dexter and I'm glad she's back. That's all I have for you guys, but of course, as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts, your theories. Are you excited that Hannah's back like me? Yay! Why do you think she's back? Do we even know? And what do you think of the whole Dexter teaching Zach the code? Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that cool things. And if you want more TV news, uh, make sure to check out tvequals.com. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!